afternoon, good afternoon, and uh, mga kapatid, kumusta po tayo? Ngayon, pag-usapan po natin ang basic faith again. How the, the basic faith in the Bible times function, no? During Jesus' time, mga kapatid, meron po tayong kailangan maintindihan dito sa basic faith. Kasi nga, in Hebrews chapter, again ha, mga kapatid, uh, bigyan niyo po ako ng pagkakataon na uh, to explain this paulit-ulit po tayo. Pero hindi po ito paulit-ulit, iba po, it, it, magkakaiba po itong uh, explanation na ito. At uh, kung kayo ay dumaan na sa mga lessons na about faith, uh, pakinggan niyo to kasi mabibigyan ko po kayo ng panibagong perspective how to understand faith and how it functions during the time of Jesus and how we can um, make sense Today, in our generation, paano natin gagamitin po ito? Kasi this is still working. No? Nag-work nag, nag po ito. So ngayon, uh, Hebrews chapter 6, review lang po ito mga kapatid, sa verse 1 and 2. No? Binanggit yan sa verse 2 na faith toward God. Faith toward God. The elementary doctrines, no? let us not leave the element, uh, let us leave the elementary doctrines of the repentance toward God. Uh, uh, sin to death, no? And then, um, faith toward God. Toward God. Now, this time, Hebrew writer, it is written, or it was written rather, after the death of Jesus Christ, many years after the death of Jesus Christ. So, tignan natin yung actual na function ng faith during the time of Jesus Christ at paano ang mga tao during the Jesus time nag-function po ito. Now dito sa aaral natin in Mark chapter 5 verse 21 particularly verse 34 tayo no? Ang center verse natin Mark chapter 5 verse 34 Now your faith has made you heal. So your faith, no, in-emphasize ni Jesus na your faith. Pag-aralan po natin yan at let's try to interpret it in our time, mga kapatid. At tignan natin how we can uh, use this. No? May mga ilang ingredients pa dyan. May mga ibang aspeto pa dyan na hindi, hindi tayo aware or hindi nabanggit sa atin. Now this time, makikiging aware po kayo niyan mga kapatid. Well, bago niyan, aralin natin tong dalawang storya ah, ng babae. No? Puro sila 12 years. 12 years. Yung isa, the woman, 12 years in hemorrhage. No? Well, hindi siya nagkaroon ng kagalingan. At isa naman, anak ni Jairus, daughter, 12 years old, is about to die. Now, dito sa study natin ng faith, how the faith of these two ladies, woman, including Jairus, na nagkaroon sila ng instant healing after they encounter Jesus. Alright? So before we start, let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your power, your wisdom. Thank you, God, that in our time, in these circumstances and situation, oh God, Lord, we are already more than one year in pandemic, oh God, and there are a lot of things, Lord, na uh, ma-discourage po kami, mawalan po kami ng panampalataya, and uh, it's about, Lord, to trust you again in this situation. And may this study, oh God, will, Lord, help us to increase our faith. This we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. Mark chapter 5, verse 21, starting in verse 21, the story of the Jairus' daughter. Hindi ko ito masyado explain ng story, but basahin ko lang, then explain ko yung part. And when Jesus had crossed again in the, bo uh, in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered about him and was beside the sea. Then came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus, the name, by the name and seeing him, he fell at his feet and implored him earnestly, saying, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, so that she may made well and live. And he went with him, and the great crowd followed him and threw up a throng about him. And there was a woman who had a discharge of blood for 12 years and who had suffered much under many positions. And, all right, 
And he spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard the reports about Jesus and came up behind in him and the crowd touched his garment. For she said, if I touch even his garment, I will be made well. And immediately the flow of blood dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed and her disease. And Jesus perceiving him himself that the power had gone out from him immediately turned about and turned to cro uh, and the crowd and said, Who touched my garment? And his disciples said to him, You see the, the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around and see who to had done it. The woman, knowing what had happened to her, she came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and heal your disease. While, still, while he was still, still speaking, there came from the ruler's house and someone said, Your daughter is dead, so why trouble the teachers any farther? But overhearing this, that they said, Jesus said to the ruler in the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Peter. All right. The rest of the story, nagkaroon ng kagalingan ang anak ni Jairus. So, mga kapatid, itong story na ito, no? allow me to share muna mga kapatid nung ano natin. <laughs> so, again, uh, kailangan natin itong, kailangan natin i-share ito. Saglit lang naman po ito mga kapatid. So, so um, Ma ano natin no? Kaya lang mga kapatid ha. Uh, mag mag uh, si share lang ako. Dalawang babae ito mga kapatid nag-aagawan. <laughs> Isipin mo, ikaw yung unang nakikipag-appointment kay Jesus then na nagkaroon ng interruption kasi nga merong <laughs> merong nagnakaw kumbaga. Na kung ikaw si Jairus mga kapatid, magagalit ka talaga nitong sa woman na ito kasi na-interrupt tapos namatay yung daughter mo. Mga kapatid, try to look at in that sense and that uh, perspective, no? Kasi hindi natin maintindihan yung kalagayan ni Jairus over his do his daughter and also the si si situation, circumstances ng 12 years of the hemorrhage, yung babae. So, kailangan natin maintindihan yan mga kapatid. Kailangan natin maintindihan yung uh, uh, ano na ito, no? circumstances na ito. Paano ba talaga pagalingin, pinagaling ni Jesus itong mga ito? Now mga kapatid, meron tayong word na tandaan dyan. Meron tayong word na tatandaan. Believe and your faith has made you healed. Now magkaibang comment ang binigay niya, magkaibang prescription ng term. <laughs> Alright, tandaan niyo yung mga term mga kapatid na ginamit si Jesus over the woman and the term na ginamit niya kay Jairus. Hindi niyo ba napansin yun na magkaibang term? Yung sa woman, ginamit ni Jesus your faith has made you healed. But on Jairus' daughter or Jairus No, only believe your daughter is um, still alive, but only believe. Now, mga kapatid, meron tayong matutunan dito. No, meron tayong mga kailangang uh, harapin dito na katotohanan. Una, number one, may nagkakasakit dito at kailangan ng kagalingan. Pangalawa, merong namatay at nabuhay muli. All right. So, these are the impossible, mga kapatid, but <coughs> look at closely how God, uh, how Jesus um, performed signs and wonders or healing sa dalawang taong to. Now, the term, dalawa, your faith has made you hit. That is in verse 34. Daughter, your faith has made you healed. 
and number of verse 36 oh do not fear but only believe do not fear but only believe now ito ay mga statement ni Jesus doon sa dalawang circumstances dalawang tao at ito ay paulit Paul it, on it all throughout the miracles the signs and wonders and when Jesus speaks about faith and when the Bible in the New Testament speaks about faith dalawa lang po ang term na ginamit your faith and only believe okay tandaan po natin yan kasi hanggang ngayon pwede natin gamitin yan my faith and only believe now i-discuss muna natin yung my faith your faith mga kapatid we cannot manufacture faith at hindi rin po ang faith darating na parang ulan lang na walang dahilan parang dadapo na lang sa atin nasabihin natin sana ulanin ako ng faith hindi po mga kapatid meron pong other factor yan na why nagkaroon tayo ng faith or magkaroon tayo ng belief or belief now number one is the personal encounter with Jesus the personal encounter with Jesus the woman encountered Jesus while Jesus is on the way walking towards the house of Jairus itong woman ay ini-interrupt si Jesus at humawak doon sa kanyang damit Layla, uh, anong tawag niya mga kapatid? yung damit ni Jesus and Jesus noticed na lumabas yung kanyang kapangyarihan without his uh, permission <laughs> mga kapatid isipin mo hindi aware hindi uh, hindi naman intention ni Jesus na pagalingin yung woman but the, because the woman is persistently touch Jesus that's why Jesus automatically by the default kung computer yan mga kapatid lumabas yung power at nagkaroon ng healing ang woman with his 12 years of hemorrhage now anong factor? the factor is the encounter with Jesus personal encounter with Jesus our personal encounter with Jesus dictates our our uh, gravity of belief paniniwala again mga kapatid yung paniniwala na yon if jesus will label that no yung mga previous lessons natin yung paniniwala natin if jesus label that that is faith if tayo ang gagawa niyan because nandiyan si jesus we personally encounter him and naniniwala tayo ang tatawag niyan believe all right pag tayo ang gumawa believe ang ginagawa ang tawag niyan but when jesus level the our action of believing him it's faith kailangan hindi kayo mga lilito niyan kasi if in the perspective of jesus looking towards us believing him to him ang sabi ni jesus you have faith all right your daughter your faith has made you healed bakit kasi naniniwala ka sa akin yun yung ibig sabihin niyan now kung tayo naman ang magkakaroon ng faith or mag mag generate ng faith there must be a reason there must be an object and who is the object Jesus so we have to encounter first Jesus mga kapatid there are many accounts in the bible in the new testament that there are people who encountered Jesus and dito makikita natin na the great crowd are following Jesus Ano yung ginawa ng iba? Bakit dalawa lang ang pinag-usapan dito nagkaroon ng healing at nagkaroon ng faith? Mga kapatid, because the other are just the watcher. Okay? Ito na yung sinasabi ko na in the church, no, in the church, only 10% are those who made it. <laughs> Pagdating sa faith. Alright? So, mga kapatid, Tandaan mo na, tignan mo ngayon kung saan ka doon sa 10% or sa sa 100%, saan ka ba sa 10% ka ba or <laughs> vice versa. Tignan mo kung na, nandito ka ba sa story ng woman over the great crowd or doon ka sa crowd. Well, but it, I would encourage you and I would love to tell you this, that when you encounter Jesus, be sure you are the one who will make the story. 
Okay? You are the one who will be written in the New Testament. Sayang yung encounter nila ni Jesus. So, ang daming mga tao nito. Great crowd. No? Following Jesus, but only two. Nagkaroon ng healing. Why? Because they are desperately in need. Desperately in need. Now ngayon, nung nagkaroon sila ng opportunity to encounter Jesus, the woman did not ask permission Jesus. He, she just touched the garment of Jesus and then the 12 years of hopeless circumstances sa uh, kanyang uh, sakit ay nawala. Mga kapatid, sa factor ng faith na ito, and also Jairus, Jesus was the one who told Jairus that do not fear, only believe. Mga kapatid, again, uulitin ko, you cannot believe without Jesus. You cannot manufacture without Jesus. The first things in basic doctrine of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 and 2 that faith toward God is faith toward Jesus. When you encounter Jesus, when there is Jesus in your life now appearing to you, have faith on Him. Have faith on Him. Believe on Him. Believe on His Word. Hindi lang dahil mag mag uh, be beneficial ka doon, may benefits doon. Or you have a benefits of believing the word. Like for example, God will provide you, God will prosper you, God will <laughs> comfort you. Mga ganun, mga kapatid, you believe because there is also a command. Alright, saka na natin pag-usapan yung command. But dito, palakasin muna natin yung palampalataya mo. You cannot believe a person without experiencing him first. Dito kasi, the crowd are following Jesus because they are on stage of experiencing Jesus. Malamang. Ano? Ano kayo gagawin nito? Uy, magpapagaling siya. Tignan natin. Kasi kung ako naman, ang susunod, or kung may papagalingin si Jesus instantly, pipila rin ako. Malamang ganun ang paniniwala natin mga kapatid. But either, ganun pa man, only a few people, no, person, in the Bible, who was that, who made it into a written account in New Testament. Kasi exceptional yung kanilang belief or paniniwala kay Jesus na si Jesus ay magpapagaling at si Jesus naman ay nilabel itong faith. Ang tawag niya ay faith. Your faith has made you healed. Now, paano natin kung si ikaw sa nasa kaligitnaan ka ng, ng kaligitnaan ka ng hopeless situation? Halimbawa, may sakit ka. Nakaratay ka ngayon. Or may kaibigan ka, may kapatid ka, katulad ni Jairus. O kung ikaw yung katulad ng women's na women na 12 years of hemorrhage, no uh, cure. Or kung ano man yan, uh, sakit man yan, cancer, or whatever, uh, incurable sickness na you have right now. Hopeless. I would advise you first is do not ask Jesus to heal. Kasi dito sa context na ito, your faith has made you healed. Mga kapatid, ang tanungin mo, where is Jesus? Encounter first Jesus in your life. And when there is Jesus, and when He appear to you, then that's the time you have the opportunity to, gra- to touch his garment in our time, in situation, or wherever you are. Ask first Jesus to come to you. Lord, I want to encounter you. I want you to show to me. Have mercy on me. Pag nandyan na siya, paniwalaan mo siya na gagaling ka. Huwag mong kalimutan yung proseso na yan. Kasi ang ginawa natin, when we are in desperate situation circumstances, sinurkat natin yung proseso. Inuutusan agad natin si Jesus na pagalingin natin, pagalingin tayo, wala naman tayong re- situation or wala naman tayong relationship sa Kanya. Hindi naman natin siya hiningi na magpumunta siya sa atin, mag-appear siya. Wala naman tayong appointment sa Kanya. Mga kapatid, that's an insult. 
Okay? Pag titignan natin yung proseso sa Bible, those who encounter Jesus, ano, nagkaroon sila ng instant healing. Dito, sa generation natin, napaka-imposible po na si Jesus ay pumunta ngayon sa iyo. Pero pag napapunta mo si Jesus sa situation mo, sa kalagayan mo, sa buhay mo, mga kapatid, that is something. Because your faith has made you healed. Anong factor ng faith dito? If you will encounter Jesus and you have a desire of something, mga kapatid, that is sure that you will get what you desire. Particularly, kahit na walang kakwenta-kwentang tinapay, mga kapatid, ini-illustrate yan ni Jesus. No? Ini-illustrate yan, yan na ibibigay din yan, basta kung anong hingihin mo. Basta nandyan siya. He performs signs and wonders. He feed the thousands, oh, four thousands, five thousands, just for the bread. Mga kapatid, kahit anong walang kwentang, inisip natin na walang kwenta, as long as Jesus appeared to you, As long as you have a personal encounter with Jesus, then that's it. That's it. Healing sees you. <laughs> ah, but it, wala po yun. Even to the point of death. No? The Jairus daughter, patay na. Was it Jesus? No? In chapter 5, verse 36, Jesus comforted the Jairus Sabi na, do not fear, but only believe. Now, when you are in your situation, circumstances, that there is a death in your, kung hindi man yan, physical, or kung ano man yan, that you believe that Jesus promised you that only believe, do not fear. Mga kapatid, hindi ko sasabihin na it is a generic prescription to, ha? Kasi depende yan kung anong sasabihin ni Jesus when you encounter Him. Ang sinasabi ko lang dito, what generates faith and belief is when Jesus is appearing to you personally in your life, in your circumstances, right now, right here, or right wherever you are. Then if you have a personal conversation with Jesus, like the woman, who touched my garment? Sir, ako yun. <laughs> Mga kapatid, that is what Jesus want. It's not about manufacturing our faith because that is easy to believe when Jesus appeared to us. The problem that we have right now because we are being taught by culture of consumerism Sa atin, i-consume lang natin para tayong mga, konti lang mga kapatid ha, masakit ito, prescription to yun. Para tayong mga parasite na nasa ibabaw ng kalabaw, higop lang tayo ng higop ng dugo. <laughs> Wala tayong kinocontribute mga kapatid. When Jesus came or come to your life, mga ah, kapatid, you desire to have a fellowship with Him. And then that's the time that your desire, Jesus grant. So the first things, first things first is we encounter Jesus. Hingiin mo yan, hanapin mo siya, no? Hanapin mo. Seek Him. Kaya nga yan, seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Pa kapatid, pakihirapan mo yung seeking God. Pagsasayangan mo ng oras yan, magbabasa ka ng Bible, kukonsulta ka ka ng sino mga spiritual, tatanungin mo lahat yan. Yun yung pinaka-difficult part. But when Jesus appeared to you, mga kapatid, everything is easy. And the burden is light. <laughs> you have a rest. Stressful day, stressful nights. You can have rest when you have Jesus The problem we have is we are seeking healing but not the healer. Mga kapatid, that's an insult. No? Kahit ang mga doktor, mga kapatid, kung iyong eh, tinatakot mo yan para pagalingin ka at pipilitin ka, baka <laughs> hindi ka paggamutin noon. Mga kapatid, I would encourage you to encounter Jesus first. The basic doctrine in, uh, in Hebrew chapter 6 
verse 1 and 2, let us live, let us now therefore leave the elementary doctrines of uh, doctrines of Christ, no, the repentance from the works, the faith toward God, faith toward God, faith toward Jesus. Your faith toward Jesus is believing that you will encounter Jesus. Then Jesus, after that, sasabihin niya sa iyo, paano mo marinig to? Sasabihin niya sa iyo, kung hindi mo siya na-encounter, your faith has made you heal. Verse 36. And then, verse 34 pala yun. Verse 36, Do not fear, only believe. Your daughter is still alive. Mga kapatid, paano ito sasabihin ni Jesus kung hindi mo siya inimbitahan na pumunta sa buhay mo? I would encourage you now, ito yung gawin mo una. Papuntahin mo si Jesus sa puso mo. And have a fellowship with Him. Kilalanin mo siya. And have an experience of encountering with Him. And that's the time, pag mag-intimate ng relationship niyo, hingiin mo na itong mga pagay na ito. Huwag naman agad-agad. Oh, mga kapatid, hindi ka pa nga nang liligaw, hihingi ka na ng halik, halik agad. Siyempre, masasampal ka <laughs> Sa mga bata natin ka. <laughs> Di ba? Hindi yun. No? Hindi mo ba nga kilala yung kaibigan mo? Papakilala pala nga sa iyo eh. O ito, mga kaibigan, magiging kaibigan mo, mayaman, hihiraman mo na agad ng pera. <laughs> mga kapatid, ganyan din yan sa Diyos. Hihingi, utusan mo na agad na pagalingin ka, hindi pa nga kayo close. So develop your relationship to God. Have a closer relationship to God. Have a walk into God. And your experience dictates the amount or gravity of your belief or your faith. The faith that you have is from the amount of believing Jesus. And Jesus will label it as faith. Congratulations. If you believe, invite now Jesus into your heart. Sabihin mo, Jesus... I would like to encounter you. Come to my heart. Patawarin niyo po ako, Panginoon, sa mga kasalanan ko, sa hindi ko, hindi ako naniniwala sa iyo, hindi ako naninilbihan sa iyo, at ayaw kong manilbihan sa iyo. Lord, patawarin niyo po ako sa tigas ng ulo ko, hindi ako susunod sa iyo. Ngayon, Lord, willing na po akong sumunod sa iyo. Lord, pagalingin mo po ako, po ako. i-increase niyo po ang aking faith, pagalingin niyo po ang ganito, pagalingin niyo po ang ganyan. Kung ano pong mga request niyo, mga kapatid. I-provide niyong ganito. Mga kapatid, pwede niyong hingin yun. Unlimited yan. Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your power and your wisdom. Thank you again that you are the one who generates faith into our hearts. But without you, Lord, but without you, we cannot encounter you, Lord. There's nothing. Because kahit na anong sabihin namin, naniniwala kami, Panginoon, kung wala ka naman, hindi ka naman namin nagkikita, ano pa naniniwalaan namin? Lalo na sa henerasyon namin ngayon, Panginoon, that idea of God is just an idea. It's just thinking. It's just an idea that you are somewhere out there. Pero Lord, kung makita ka namin, encounter, like the woman at the well, like Jacob o God na nagipag-wrestling pa, Lord, physically, encounter Jesus. Lord, I pray sa lahat ng nangangailangan ngayon na ma-increase yung kanilang faith, na ma-encounter ka nila o God. I pray, O oh Lord, for healing. I pray, O oh God, for provision. I pray, O oh God, for those who are in stress, na magkaroon po sila ng joy and courage and passion, O oh Lord, to serve you. Na kung ano pang natira sa buhay nila, Lord, bibigay nila para sa you to serve you more. I give you all the praise and all the glory. I pray, O oh God, for those who need in healing right now. In Jesus' name we pray, be healed. Amen and amen. God bless I you. I hope your faith is increasing as your walk with Jesus is also increasing. God bless.